Jerry, video games are the latest craze to sweep the country and most of the world, too. Millions of people are addicted to hours of gazing at electronic images on game screens and arcades and in their own homes. What makes video games so popular? Well, we search for an answer as we begin a special series on video fever, games people play. It is a cacophony of sounds from a symphony of electronics. If you're filling your time capsules these days, don't forget a bit of Frogger, or Mousetrap, or Grand Champion, or Pac-Man, or Ms. Pac-Man. They are video games. They are as American, well, as international as war. We've got that too. In 1981, Americans popped in between five and nine billion dollars worth of quarters and tokens into the slots of arcade video games. Pac-Man alone digested $200 million for its manufacturer, Bally Corporation's Midway. No human could begin to compute how many Pac-Man dots were gobbled up, how many little children and adults spent their free time at the joystick of a video game control. One study estimates that we spent 75,000 man-years doing this. Don't despair those numbers. Before video games, there were other attractions. Here's a sound to remember, the quiet ride of the silver ball, the ding of the bells as it hit the bumpers. There's a lot of us who remember pinball machines like these and pool tables like these, people my age and a little bit older. I spent a lot of time during the summer playing a pinball machine like this. And I remember the one thing about pinball machines is the score. You could always get it up to about 99,999 before it rotated back to zero. Now with electronic games, you can go to a million or two million or 9,999,999. And getting there is half the fun and part of the frustration. Part of the fascination is the way the games are designed. Take 13-year-old Paul Glatzer playing Zaxxon. The game is three-dimensional. The screen is full of tricks to avoid. Your airplane moves faster than the speed of sound. Your tongue hungers for a kill. I like the details on it. This Good details on the games. Part of it is the sound. These games would not be any fun at all if there were no sound. But there is, and that is why people like Bert Price can stand in a machine for two and a half hours, on one quarter, mind you, and play Galaga. I could have done that for longer. Just I lost all my shells. <laughs> 